Hello. Yes. Uh, so this is basically just an improvised thing that I just to fill in a space. So I'm sorry I don't have any memes for you or anything. I uh, just wanted to continue on last year's talk that I did a bit about uh, Nixon space. Specifically, I wanted to focus on our problems with uh, bandwidth uh, and like just uh, uploads uh, and updates on on space. So the title of the I, I gave this impromptu like talk is uh, Nix at um, that lab speed. That's actually a lie. I wish we had that lab speed because it's actually something in like kilobytes per day that we cannot upload. So how do we handle this? Uh, do I have a chunk? Uh, then, then, oh yeah, I have something here. Yeah. So our current setup has the ground and space. Uh, ignore my writing. Uh, the way you usually update things is you use something like uh, Nix, um, it's like push push uh, closure or something. It's it's called I think closure, but the issue is that requires SSH. Now I don't know if you ever tried using dial-up with a true SSH, an SSH to dial-up, that wouldn't work. Plus, like the connection is super unreliable, like it's not continuous, so that's a no-go. So what do we do? We since everything is always pushed and we never build on space. We know exactly everything that is in space. So we have a package that we have and know that this is like full version one. Uh, uh, and know that this depends on glibc, depends on, I don't know, bash, stuff like that. Uh, and then uh, we, whoop. We have a like Nix, the last what the last do is just build closures, but the issue is that if you just build a closure like Nilo Willy, that just going to push all of your dependencies all at, at the same time. So what we do is always keep a record of like full one and then full two and know everything that is in space. So like we have a copy basically of the database that is in space, and then we manually do what. Uh, uh, next push closure does is just say, okay, I'm going to do a diff between these packages that I know that are going to, like, that I already have in space, these new packages that uh, I'm going to do, just uh, get the difference for that, uh, then, like, run it through the uh, XC or something for compressing it, then cry a little bit because it's still going to take many, many days. Uh, and finally, we have it on the satellite. Uh, I guess it's a happy satellite. Uh, then we have to usually also forego all of the Nix tooling that we have and just uh, have some activation scripts and stuff uh, because now we have to put things back together. So it's uh, this cannot be uploaded like as, as a single package. It's really slow, and so we have like little chunks of it that we upload every like 90 minutes uh, when it's just, uh, the satellite is just ab above a, a station, ground station. Then we have like to put all of that back together and then like do um, sort of like, this is Nix, so I should do a slash bin slash switch to configuration, which is basically what Nixos reveal does, but since we're not building on space, we might as well just use the binary directly and then we check on stuff like if there is a um, difference in kernel or like uh, in kernel arguments or anything and just reboot it if, if it needs to. Otherwise, we just keep it running. Uh, and yeah, that's just like basically the basic concept of like how to Nix lets us just like take not the entire thing but single paths and single dependencies and reduce our package sizes that, uh, and let us really easily track. Uh, what is already in space? It's just like store paths, basically. Uh, yeah, that's my impromptu call, uh, impromptu talk. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Or, like, no questions? So, yeah, fair enough.